first thing we're going to shoot this new suppressor on is a Glock 17 in 9mm. All right. um, we're going to use the Gemtech multi-mount booster. We'll put, the put it on the gun just to show that the variety of mounting attachments is virtually endless. Now we can't screw right on it. Alright. Now we need some 9mm ammunition. Uh, we have our sound meter involved here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to record the shots and then audibly announce them and um, reset the meter. I'm not going to go to the trouble of writing them down today. We're going to use our Glock 17. This is Fiocchi 158 grain ammunition. And that was first round pop. That looks like 129 decimals. I'm going to cut it down one notch and reset it. That was 127. It's a little higher today because of the humidity. It's real humid today. 125, 5. 128, 124.5, 127.2, 124.5, and locked open on the last round with a 125.5 meter reading. All right. Now that we're finished with the Glock, we're going to put the three lug mount in it so we can shoot it on our 9mm SBR, which has a trough three lug adapter on the end of the barrel. The first thing we do is screw the triad into the adapter ring, the adapter ring into the suppressor appropriately. And it's ready to use on the three lug. Our 9mm AR-15 has a recessed barrel down on it. There's about 5 inches of barrel in here. There we go. And it's ready to go. You got your suppressor mounted and the gun's ready to shoot. Alright. Alright. I've got it on the gun. We're going to shoot some rounds past the meter so the meter's on the AR-15 and 9mm. Auto. <laughs> that was 128 first round pop and second round. <laughs> Let's see what it does in the next. That's 126. It should meet her very, very close to the Glock because the barrel lengths are almost identical. That was 126.5. Make deliberate trigger pulls. 125. 126.2 or so. One twenty-six two. That all? Of them? No, I got one left. One twenty-seven. All right, we're gonna fire some through the 1022 now. As a point of reference, you know, if you're hitting steel with it, it doesn't seem to affect accuracy either. It works really well. Um,
All right, now that we fired it on the 1022, we're gonna fire it on the Spikes Tactical AR with a five inch barrel, give or take a little bit, it looks like, um, with Federal High Velocity Ammo. And if I go ahead and open the scope so I can see what I'm aiming at. There it is. Yeah, it worked really well on that. Alright. One last thing. We'll put it back on. Nine millimeter. Yep, yeah, it's on. It's full auto rated too. <laughs> <laughs> 